Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? I was looking for a job like this. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park oh. burn oh, to the yeah. ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Ah, okay. Hmm. Clawed up tree. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, it's disconcerting? Bear, dude. Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's Excellent. disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. This is a very strange yeah, smoke thing. I agree. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Yes. I like that there's a limited amount of pictures we can take. Mm hmm It's a little call back to what it used to be like. Man, back in the day, we really had to choose our shit. We couldn't just take pictures. We have infinite pictures now, don't we? We have 15. No, I meant in real life. Now. In this oh, time. Oh, oh. I was like, what? What are you, what are you talking, talking about? No, no, it says 15 right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant like... Yeah. Because yeah. I remember watching a video about why pictures feel are a different than back when... Pictures now are different than back when we had only had a limited amount. Like, if you got a good shot by accident, that was like really special mm -hmm. shit. And now it's like, eh. no, do it again. No, do it again. <laughs> yeah, I take a lot less pictures now. I think it's, I don't know if that's because we're older or. Yeah, I don't know. I like never take pictures anymore. All I do is take pictures of my hair and post them on the internet. And yeah. pictures of AJ. My hair and AJ. That's it. Those are the two things that are most important to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. Um, should be over here. Yeah. Where is it? It's, I think it's right there. It's the the thingy. Is, oh, hey! A box! Treasure! We found a box! That's a leaf. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Guys, you never would have guessed. I'm an un I'm unmedicated ADD. You never would have guessed.
missing person. I wonder if that's Brian. Oh, here. Let me take a look. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa! What? Cool. Ooh. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. What? Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Perfect. Good. Oh, there's the stream. So we followed the stream. Ah, the music back back on. That means we're gonna be a while by ourselves with the magical music in our head. Yep. Magic music. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. What's this? Something pretty. Waterfall! There's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Go look in the waterfall for a sec. Just yeah. Something nice to look at. So pretty. Do we want to go this way or do we want to go to the right of it? I'm looking at everything right now. Oh, so, got it. Just want to see all of our options. And it's just really bugging me, like, the guy said in an interview, if you go off into, like, other paths, you'll find cool stuff. I'm like, whoa, where, where's the cool stuff? Where are the paths? I cannot stand it when people go, you missed the thing with the stuff. Yeah. I guarantee you, by the time someone in the comments by now has said, you missed the thing with the, with stuff. the stuff. And I'm like, dude. We're playing this before the game, before this releases. It's not like we're part of the zeitgeist yet. Yeah. You know, where everyone's like, there's that one thing with the thing that you can't see, and it's like, I, there's no way I could have known that. Oh, I want your genuine reaction, but I also want you to be able to find everything like you've played the game five times. Yeah, that's... Which oh, is what, here we go. Which is what we used to do. I used to play the game ahead of time, and then have Stacy go in blind so I could be like, check out every single detail, but we don't have enough time for that anymore. Yeah. And also Stacy's like, God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Stomp out. Teen magazines? Dangerous, dangerous hunks? I don't know. Well, I found <laughs> some dangerous, dangerous hunks. hunks. <laughs> what? 
on Earth are you... It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. You found them? Where are they? No idea. The thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? I have no idea. It's pretty bad. Well, just look around. Make sure they weren't, you know, injured or... Uh, murdered? <sighs> they weren't murdered. Oh, do you remember when I came out here to quietly look for fires? They weren't. Just look around. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do one snap. I bet when we look at the camera at the end, there's gonna be some creepy ass shit. <gasps> yeah! Oh! The, like the first four pictures are gonna be pictures of us. <laughs> oh god, that's so creepy. <laughs> Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Can we, we can't take them? These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. So they each carry That is some case? dedication. They're just very strong. <laughs> really committed to drinking in the woods. They couldn't just bring like, I don't know, not trying to say like this is the best way to drink, but wouldn't it have been a much lighter to bring just two bottles of like strong stuff? Yeah, of liquor or something. No, beer. Hmm. Well, and also then, go ahead. Th and, and then you don't have like the cans everywhere. You just have like maybe One even bottle. maybe even put it in like a canteen. Yeah, and then you drink it accidentally from the wrong canteen. <laughs> you would know pretty quickly that you had the wrong one. No, my mom drinks like gasoline, and when I was little, she was, not she, actual gasoline. Don't no, try that. Her martinis, quote unquote, are just vodka. <laughs> That's what a martini is. No, you, a martini has like a little bit of something else. I uh, yeah, but a pretty tiny amount. Anyway, my mom's drinks are just. With alcohol, and she'll be like, "Oh, let me get a mixer. It's just a different alcohol." Yeah. And so, when I was little, I was like, "Oh, I'm so thirsty." I grabbed her drink because it's clear, and I thought <sighs> it was water. And I was like, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> "Oh my god!" Your tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would oh, explain okay. that scrap I found. <laughs> what could have done that? A bear. Oh. Like a like a bear or um. Oh, what's this? I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. Okay, we need so to take from, a picture. So from this angle, I was like, um, it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, we need to take a picture of the other side, I think. Well, I want to read this note first. Do you oh. want to take a picture? Or do, do take a picture note? first, and then we'll read the note. Yeah, just so we can have that yeah. creepy note included. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's read the note. Uh, it looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. We didn't steal your pants. Okay. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or Red River and tell them about how you creeped us on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is... Oh, we didn't steal their panties. Somebody else We didn't listened. destroy the campsite either. Gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Deck. <laughs> yeah, deck. Yeah, deck. So somebody else was stealing their panties. Yeah. Well, somebody else came here and destroyed their campsite and stole everything. So, hmm. report the note. We already did. We did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? <sighs> yeah. I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> did you? No. No. I just stole their booze. Well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It was another creepy It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. 
There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. What it looks like to me is like, he creeped them out, and then somebody else ruined their campsite, and then a bear fucked up their shit. Like Maybe after they left, if they had left food there. Yeah. What I'm saying is, they probably really like left the campsite, came back, and they're like, oh my god, it's that creepy weirdo again. It's like three different people doing different creepy shit. Yeah. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? <laughs> Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. She probably wants to know because she saw somebody else. If Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin. Mm, we should probably be more honest, like Burt Reynolds. This isn't that hard. We don't look like Burt Reynolds. We have a beard. Unless okay. You just don't want to answer. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Aww. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see... In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? So... I, you know, this is the 80s. Like, Burt Reynolds was like the shit. Oh, yeah. Right? Forgot. He had like a no, new this spread. can't be that hard. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. <laughs> Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. <laughs> Uh, lady, you're being a little... A beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh... She's not real. Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. This is like, this is really creeping me out. Tired. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. We gotta go downstairs and get boards to finish fixing the window.